Hello, foodie beauties. <laughs> Seriously? Do you think that you're going to be doing this now? After all that you've done, there is an old saying. It's, you cannot go home again. And if you think you're going to go back to this, giggling over pink and white stripes and cupcakes, have a little chat and a little bit of food, and you're going to say beauty bad every five minutes, forget it. We all know that you're a dang monster. You've proven it for the better part of two years now. Take your best shot, you lying pile of crap. <laughs> Hi, I'm Marhaba. Assalamu alaikum. Okay, stop right there. You lose. Maybe with your stupid beezers, you win. Over here, you lose. Maybe with French Fry Girl and Yabba, you win. Over here, you lose. And Winifred Parks has got here a picture of what you really look like. And she's too much of a lady to say what the fuck needs to be said. I'm going to say it right over here. Okay? Thanks very much for showing that picture there, Anne. And uh, you do great work. Thanks for what you do, Anne. Thanks. Okay. Now, what you got here is a computer representation. It's not even really Chantel, okay? Chantel's got a head the size of a pumpkin. All right, she's just a hedonist. She just sits around on, at the townhouse ordering junk food and smoking dope all day long. That's all the truth. She's live streamed it for like two years straight now. And her head's the size of a pumpkin and her skin is a mess. Her lips are thin, her eyes are scrunched up because of the fat, has no blade cell stuff to go. And when she, and the only way you would ever see Chantel if you were in the townhouse while she's shooting this. What happens is this. Chantel turns on the Samsung and she talks into it. And the Samsung takes what it's looking at and barely holds itself together. And unlike a guitar effect paddle that has true bypass and just sends a signal through and gives it to you. Like when you're watching live sports on some game or something. What the Samsung does is take that horrible footage and processes it and then at a delay of a few milliseconds spits it out. And what you're looking at right there is not really Chantel. That is a computer recreation. None of that is real. The only thing it doesn't mess with is the cupboard in the background because it's not programmed to do that. What you're looking at is a computer recreation. Okay? This is not real, what you're looking at, Chantel. Heavy, heavy filters. It slenderizes the head. It, it works on the lips, the eyes, the skin, everything. It just isn't real. And she's going to be telling us that some man's about to marry her? No way! Welcome back to another video. Yes, I have decided to do a video to talk a bit about... I guess just what's on my mind. So you mean besides the bacon grease, shrooms, and bong resin, please share! And I didn't really feel like going live. As you know, I'm kind of in weird moods. <laughs> no, you are sort of in the middle of script revisions while you're confronted with the ongoing challenge of having to produce shit on a daily basis. And sometimes I just feel like doing videos. So, I'm just wanting to, I guess, talk about some i don't know if it's like prejudices or what you would call it but definitely misconception so this here is where a career liar speaking through an artificial filter is going to let us know what the truth is please carry on with that and this is going to sound super snotty believe me we are not surprised we know that it's all that you do but i want every woman out there to know Please stop right there, wildebeest. You are not speaking to every woman out there. In the grand scheme of things, you got a very small channel. And your audience is made up of a male portion, which are weird old fetish feeder freaks. And the women who follow you do not qualify as ladies. They're all stupid. They're as fat and disgusting and as slovenly as you are or worse and they live vicariously through you and you all have empty pathetic lives and i forgot to mention it earlier i'm going to mention it now it's my dang channel i'll do it in addition to the filter and all that it's doing for you working overtime you're also wearing 20 pounds of makeup and this is where it starts this is where it starts all right over here ladies here on my channel and a few gentlemen this is where it starts chantelle it is it, 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 it's trying to get you angry. She's gonna say I am a queen and you're all so pathetic. 
She just wants you to take an interest. You know, it, 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 it's like flat paper. It's like a spider web. Don't get invested in it. And, you know, there was no real fight going on with Natter. She never brought criminal charges. And like I keep reminding you, if she ever did, then she'd be in front of a judge too. It's a crime in Canada called public mischief. It's all a lie. It's all a live action role playing. And I'm telling you now, like I told you before, this is just her ramping up. To have a very profitable holiday season. Because YouTube is very profitable during the holiday season. I'm going to get this thing published October 19th. Even though I'm rushed. This is what she's trying to start now. So she's insulting the women out there that make the mistake of taking an interest with this. She's going to say, I am a queen. And you're all so desperate. She doesn't care that you hate her. Alright? Don't. You can laugh at it. For what it is. Live action role playing coming from a liar. Don't go over to her channel to do it. You come over to this reaction channel or start one of your own, okay? I'm not saying you gotta feel follow me. You could start one of your own too, okay? Just don't pay attention to this thing on its own channel. Don't fall for the same tricks all over again. She's just trying to get you angry. So you pay attention and get your channel hot. She makes money for herself and her co-actors in this mess she is offering for the 2022 holiday season. That is it. That's <laughs> If you are so desperate that you have to enter the DMs of somebody that I'm involved with, or try to, I need you to know that any reply you get from anyone calling themselves Sala, like they even have the nerve to pretend to be that worthy, to even enter his DMs, any reply you get is fake, because this man spends hours on video call with me every day shows me screenshots of every single person trying to follow him has all comments turned off is not accepting new friend requests anywhere and his dating app that you're so hanging on to as proof that this man doesn't love me please you're so gullible this here is where stupid people make a mistake and start to take an interest now that the Natter storyline has been set aside and the fake reaction channels, which are really the echo chamber channels, you know, you know, the channels like Frenchie that, 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 that says that it's not offensive when uh, Chantel makes fun of the tragedy in 9-11 and uh, when uh, Chantel mocks uh, children getting murdered in the United States of America, American Yabba gives her a pass on it and says, oh, well, you know, everybody talked about that on Friday. It's Monday and it's already been done. And meanwhile, all that Yabba does is react to uh, this thing. You know, those are the echo chamber channels. They're all getting a piece of the action. Yava takes a morning shift. Frenchie takes a night shift. They're all working together, okay? So, now that the Natter thing has been set aside, and you ain't gonna hear people screaming and gasping about Koki anymore, and Koki this, doesn't it feel like it never really existed? Doesn't it feel empty and ridiculous that you ever followed it? And I told you it was all horseshit. So, don't get angry. Don't get insulted. When she's pretending to have this fabulous man and that, that, that all y'all are, are losers because you can't compare to amazing Chantel with 20 pounds of makeup and Samsung software doing a recreation of what she really is. That's just what she wants you to do. She wants you to get angry. The opposite of love is not hate. The opposite of love is indifference. So that's what you should give her. Ignore it. Come on over here, and we're going to have fun making fun of this thing, reacting to this live-action roleplay. She's doing it all over again because she's got nothing else to bring to the table. There's no beauty. There's no interest. There's no entertainment. There's no work being done. It's just a stoner telling dirty stories and putting on airs and pretending live-action roleplaying, talking at you through a filter, wearing far too much makeup, trying to push your buttons. Don't get angry at it. Just ignore it. Come over here and laugh at it. Don't don't be led down the garden path by an idiot all over again. Don't do it. Just like you all accuse me of being. I'm sorry, or should I say, I apologize if I sound bitter. Yeah, I'm a little bitter. I'm trying to do better for my life, and I have people everywhere trying to pull me back down into the stinky bog with them. There Chantel is pretending to be at war with Frenchie. Now when Frenchie showed up for the fashion show, you, you might be like, well, why did that happen? 
uh, you know, uh, Chantel could have prevented her from being there and would have expected that she was going to be there if they really were at odds with one another. It's the same reason why Chantel will go on these fake weight loss journeys because she gets a lot of interest when she says she's going to start them and she gets a lot more extra money. Then when she gives up on them, she gets more interest so people are telling her off. So she makes money when she pretends to try, and she makes money when she pretends to give up on it. She never had any interest anyway. It's just a blob of shit sitting around the townhouse, high on drugs, ordering shit it's going to eat anyway. It says, I think I'll pretend to do a weight loss journey. More money. Oh, look, I'll pretend to fall off it. More money. So Frenchie and Chantel getting together at the fashion show meant more money. And then they go back to pretending they're hating each other. More money. They work together. This channel got attacked by Chantel and Natter with false copyright strikes. Okay? Uh, the Yabba channel didn't get attacked. Frenchy channel didn't get attacked. You know, Chantel said she's going to bring, uh, you know, civil claims against Fr and nothing, nothing happens. She's going to say later on this video, I am fighting it behind the scenes. Well, it's not behind the scenes. If you charge somebody with, with uh, criminal harassment, it becomes public knowledge in court. Okay? It's all lies. These two fucking idiots work together to harvest money from people even stupider than they are. Don't be a part of it. You can stay there. I'm moving on up. I'm getting married. Chantel is going to marry Natter. No. Chantel is going to Turkey. No. Chantel is going to Jamaica. No. Chantel is really going to lose weight this time. No. Like, how many times can you get fooled by the same damn clown how many times don't go over there pay attention to it you come over here we're going to make proper reaction to it okay and don't pay attention to friends you don't pay attention to the yabba i know there's a lot of stupid people following it i mean how many times can you be lied to how many times can you uh, be excited to pay attention to something that is a complete fraud okay she is not getting married I'm rushing this thing. It could have been funnier, a little bit better. I still think it's pretty dang funny the way it is. I gotta get this out the door before midnight, October 19, 2022. That's the day Chantel says she's getting married. She's never getting married, okay? And, 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 I'll elaborate on this later as this, as this stupid storyline goes along. Don't pay attention to it over there. Pay attention to it over here, all right? I mean, it's not like a, a, a criminal offense to lie to people on YouTube. Because this thing gets away with it ongoing. It doesn't mean you got to fall for it. You can come over here. We have a good time making fun of this live action role playing. Don't go over there. Pay attention to it over there. This thing is starting the same story all over again with a different actor. Okay? Don't be that dang stupid. Chantel on this day, October 19, 2022, says she's getting married. And I'm saying here, FBRC, that Chantel on October 19, 2022, I am rebutting that saying she is never getting married. It is not going to happen. Believe it. I'm going to live an amazing life. This move is happening. I'm glowing up in life behind the scenes and from now on I'm only allowing you whatever privacy I want to give you and honestly the way things are going to be going with my channel probably not much my privacy is something I have not valued my entire life really so you were somehow doing shitty live streams in your front yard when you were 16 years old or something like that hey I'm Chantel you want to come over to the house and watch me lie and be an idiot hey look at me throw me 25 cents I'll do it do I regret that I see people desperate reaction channels and desperate women trying to break this up but it's not going to happen why would Sala and listen carefully ladies why would Sala go for you girls when he has a Canadian queen like me? You make no sense. Anyway. I'm just terribly bored with all the speculation I'm seeing, and I have to tell you, none of it's true. I want to just say, if I'm being scammed, why has he not made any videos to try to leech off my YouTube channel? Why has, why has he not been pushing me to do content? Why has he promised to take care of me as my husband? This is what a real man does. I have found myself a real man. Yes, 
halfway across the world. It's a vast world. Why am I going to be closed-minded and limit myself to someone here? Salah is my soulmate. He happens to be in another country. So we're going to make it happen. I can. And I will. What other scams? He's using me for citizenship. Number one, we don't have green cards here. Sponsoring a spouse, yes, it's a big process. It's not just quick and easy like that. Also, who says he's even coming here right now? This is the thing. I even saw a rumor that he has no family. How are people making these claims when they don't even know us? They don't know anything. And guess what? You're not going to. I have every right to my privacy. I'm taking back my privacy. You can put every video, every thumbnail, every picture of me you want of my past and that hasn't scared him away. He knows who I am. He knows I'm foodie beauty and he loves me for me. As a person, I have a lot to offer. Just because I pick my nose in old videos means I'm not worthy of love. Okay. Or because maybe because I went through a hard time and I was in an abusive relationship and resorted to drugs to cope with things. So that's going to be rubbed in my face over and over. Nice try, but no, I don't live in the past. You guys do. I'm moving forward and so are my Beezers, my loyal Beezers. And that's all that matters. And the rest, well, whatever. Do something better with your life. Please do not waste your work following this shyster. You could be working on yourself. You could be looking to work on your 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 friends and family. Okay? She wants one of two responses out of you, okay? For her beezers, she wants them to, to be on board and say, this is going to happen. Uh, I believe you, Chantel. Uh, using that filter and all that makeup. Yeah, I'm sure that some guy is about 30 years of age and, you know, has got a normal job and everything. He wants to bring a pile of crap that has totally let itself go and, and into his family and marry you. I believe it. And, and, and I want to see this dream come true, too. And that's what she wants them beezers to do. She wants them to follow it. And everybody else... She wants to get angry and say, oh, uh, he's uh, on Tinder trying to talk to other folks. You were meant to find that Tinder. So it would give her something to talk about. So the whole thing would seem like it's real at the start. You've already been through this before. And, and so the bigger portion, she wants people to hate on her and say, I want this to fall apart. And uh, it's going to all blow up in your face, Chantel. And he's going to leave you. It doesn't matter. It's all phony. It's all live action role playing. There ain't no love affair happening. And there ain't no, you know, a, 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 a fragile thing that's going to fall apart. And she's going to be, oh, look, he left me. He used me. She just wants you to pay attention. She's just a fucking stoner. Sitting in the apartment all day long. Eating junk food. That's why it's just so enormous. you got to use that software. Like I said earlier on, what you got there is a computer recreation. That's not, not, not even Chantel. And it sits around there getting high, telling dirty stories and figuring out, wow, you know, if I just sit around here and lie all day and night, I can make a whole hell of a lot of money. And my buddies Frenchie and Yabba make it seem like it's real and we all get to be in on this. Don't be stupid. This thing is not getting married. I'll say it again, maybe it'll sink in real good. This thing is not getting married ever. It's not happening, so forget it. Don't follow it. You come over here, all right? Grow up. Come over here. We will make fun of this live-action role-playing. And let the idiots have all the rest, okay? That's it, okay? I, I gotta get this thing published today. And that is done.